I guess that bar represents or kind of replaces the exclamation points. You managed to write the culprit's name. Hold it. Bruh. The culprit's name. Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but was the was the name of the client? Whatever. Fuck. I don't know. It was the name that of my of my client. Okay. I don't like saying it, but it the was defendant's name Maggie, sir. Press. Are you absolutely certain? So I fell, but that's what it said. <laughs> well, that didn't do anything. Well, we might get a little bit more. This is a picture of it. No matter which way you look at it, it still says Maggie. Hmm, it's got a point. Hey, hold on. Huh? Don't pound me. I know the picture says Maggie, but... You think it's like different spelling? That's it. I just feel kind of off about this picture. Send some evidence. What? That's spotting contradiction. That's what spotting contradictions feel like. I better check the court records again. All right, so let's go. Uh, actually, let's just keep pressing one on. Okay. That's the last one. Just press With on that. This piece of evidence in the glasses is hard to say. She's not the culprit. Hold it. And you're certain that it was the victim who wrote the name on the ground? There were scratches on his fingerprints from the rough sand. And there were grains of sand stuck under his pointer finger nail. Hmm. It, it, it certainly seems that the name of the, has, was written by the victim himself. That didn't go well. <laughs> if it really was him, then we're in a lot of trouble. Don't give up. Keep that fighting spirit going. I'm glad you're all pumped up, but... I really want to see your special move, sir. A whole a special move. <laughs> My what? <laughs> <laughs> what about your penis? You always look so cool when you present evidence. Present evidence? Enlighten me? Or sure. just, oh, just that. Enlighten me. Um, about this presenting evidence. Okay. When you're listening to the testimony, you can compare it with the court record. If you do that, you're sure to find contradictions in the witness's statements. Contradictions? Well, there are many reasons why a testimony might contradict the evidence. The witness might be lying, or maybe they're just mistaken. Uh-huh, and? You still have no idea what I'm talking about? When you find a contradiction, open the court record and item you need. And then, I present... Oh, and then I present that evidence, right? You got it. You can also present people's profiles as evidence. Okay, that's new. You couldn't do that in the other one. So it's most likely we're gonna have to do like I bet you. I bet you that. her name is like a different way of spelling Maggie or something. Yeah. With so many items, you make sure you present the right thing. Hmm, sounds complicated, but I'll give it a try. You're pretty good at this. Well, I'm being pretty spam pro. I don't know what to say. All right. So we go back to that one. Yeah. I used to push him in. Oh, was it that one? It was just said Maggie. Okay, so go to prop plus. Okay, so yeah. What? No, don't, 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 don't. It's just telling you can do that. Oh, okay. So go to profile, so press plus again. Okay. Yeah, it's different spelling. So just overhead seems to work better. Yeah. But faster. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just hit the mic. Good hit job. Hit the mic. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> what, what is it? What is it? <laughs> is he gonna pass out? Oh, I bet you he um, he's kind of remembering stuff now. Okay, what? What's, What's come going? over me? I'm oh, thinking. I just blurted out objection, objection, and I yelled it at the top of my lungs. Figure out, stressed, ready to take on my opponent. It's like I've done this before. What a rush! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. You're talking to me, pal. No, you talk. Please state the defendant's name for me. Objector! What are you trying to prove with this futile excuse, Mr. Wright? You'll see this is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Paint, you can answer. The defendant's name, if you please. Where is that Mr. Ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's name is, um, Maggie Birdie. Mm -mm -mm. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? 
It says right here that it's Maggie Birdie. Ah! Looks like the bird caught the cat napping. <laughs> What's going on here? I have no idea either, so. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave the name Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled M A G G E Y. This is a blatant contradiction of the facts. Oh! How about that? I hadn't even know. I haven't even noticed. Oh yeah, again! Maybe a victim didn't know how to spell a name correctly. May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him not to have known her name. No! <laughs> Can you scoot over a bit? Oh, yeah. I just, I just feel as though I'm kind of farther away from the mic. And also, I want to fix it. <laughs> the pop filter. Because I fuck hit yeah, it like a moron. Whacked it. <laughs> this is very true. Mr. Payne! Yes, you are you absolutely certain that the uh, defendant and victim, Dustin Prince, were, in fact, lovers? Yes, I'm quite certain, Your Honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court of the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Your Honor, he's going to be our only wit our witness. I guess so. Officer Prince and Officer Buddy had been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Six months, Jesus. That's the great. day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean Officer Buddy, had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had gotten over two months ago. Herpes? I should know, because she came to me and asked what she should get for him. Oh, those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm, yes, I see. You might cross examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Okay. Um. That's a bird I've been going out for about half a year. Hold it. Oh, what what doing? Go back. I didn't mean to do that. No, go back. No, fuck. Go back. Back. Okay, there we go. Uh, hold it! How do you know about this? Every year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Buddy was a rookie at the time, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but... I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, so I didn't. Aw, poor gumshoe. If only I'd gone on that trip. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing so, really, anyway. Sound like they're even talking about marriage. Hold oh, right. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You say a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? No, that's not what I mean at all. Or meant at all. Detective Gumshoe and Justin were only near a part, you know. I think this fella has ways to go before our marriage. <laughs> Mind your own business, pal. <laughs> the day of the okay, incident happened to be the victim's birthday. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just gotten off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the park a little bit. I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. <laughs> That's great, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. <laughs> Maggie, I mean, Officer Bud, uh, Officer Preston. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss, and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even if she was going to give a present, isn't it a bit going a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much as scratches their, I really don't need to know that much. <laughs> Objection! Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. 
I agree. Even if the witness has a crush on the defendant. That should not be the point of discussion at the time. Whoa, wait a second, what are we talking- why are we talking about this? <laughs> it's all your fault, pal. You're guilty, 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 and you should have been arrested. I should have you arrested. Hang on. Well, wait, whoa! Well, I, I did that. We're back! It was like a tiny cut. I think the good detective is about done here. It was some place yeah, I got over two months ago. Over two months ago? Yup, you see the very considerate woman, pal. So... What was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A glove. Not a pair of gloves. A glove. A glove. A single glove? Why would you only give him one? Um, actually, Your Honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh. oh that's pretty legit. Okay. You don't need two of those. <laughs> oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Points was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove. Hmm. Press further. Press further. Just now, I believe you said that the president was something. She had gotten over two months ago. Yeah? Are you saying she went out and bought a glove over two months ago? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Ah, uh, I see. Custom made? The glove was custom made? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Hmm, so the glove was custom made. What's their objective? You I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Ugh. Oh. That makes sense, though. Yes, it would seem that there is little rele relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to the case? Of course it's relevant! Yeah, why not? I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it's relevant! That glove is the key to this whole case! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You're yes! You're bluffing to the max! <laughs> now this is the Mr. Wright I know! I'm so happy you're back, sir! I was wondering how long it takes! This is great! Presenting, impressing people, it feels like I've done this before. As if I used to do this, squeezing information from even the most tight-lipped people. It's like I've been in a game before. Very well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about this matter. Actually, I brought the glove. I brought the glove with me today. So today. And why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry up and show the glove to this court. Well, I didn't think I had to do anything with this. It had to do. Anyway, this is it, sir. A yellow. It's frickin' yellow and has fingers. It's, um, rather yellow, isn't it? it kinda looks like bananas. It does look like bananas. <laughs> Officer Pointsley, I like the color yellow. And that's why you had a to special order it? I think the score is hard enough. It's clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that's true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see you, but your honor. Detective comes to please tell the court a little more about this name on the ground. Yes, sir. Writing on the ground. Oh, I bet you I think I know what it's going to be. Alright, we'll see. Alright, first looked into the handwriting, sir. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Okay. Next, we take the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped on the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on the skin that were caused him by, by writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote his name with his white hand. That's probably it. Okay, you got any idea yet? It's gonna be, the glove's gonna be like a right-handed glove or something. Or a left-handed glove. Because he, or well, he would... The glove goes on his right hand because he's a left-handed person. He throws with his right hand, which would be no. what He throws with his left hand because you have your oh, yeah, glove. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, that's what I meant. That's what yeah. I mean. he, okay. has, he has the glove on his right hand and he throws with his left hand. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly logical, logical conclusion. Hello, oh, Mr. Wright. You might cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. First, let's take a look at the glove first. Okay. How do you? What, you just do plus. Yeah, and just look at it. Don't and just press A. But don't like swing the remote or press minus. Got it. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the glove. Da, 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 da. It was custom made. Oh, there's no. It doesn't say that it's ah. left or right. Go, maybe go to the go to profiles. Press plus again. Uh, profiles. Maggie Birdie. 
Uh, seems like I'm dating. Nothing. Okay, press B. Let's get out of it. Oh, okay. Alright. Handwriting. Okay, press. The handwriting's right. HOLD IT! What? Can you really determine a handwriting based on a sample written in sand? Hey, that's why I'm a chose why I'm a chose. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. <laughs> Scientific investigation in the country is actually pretty good. Hmm, I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Okay, Jordan. So, what was the shot of the investigation? Supposedly, we could not confirm that it was a victim's handwriting. So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it? Hey, don't you look down on us. <laughs> I told you. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want from a scientific invest with scientific investigation. <laughs> what? I've never heard of that before. Me either. <laughs> Nor I. I've never heard anything like a piece kind of me, sir. Okay, so I made it up. Anyway. <laughs> Next, we check the victim's pointer finger. His pointer finger. You know the one you're always pointing and waving around at people's faces? Oh, he does do that a lot. Ah, ha, ha, don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have to mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, you can have an infantum's index finger, correct? Yeah, well, we figured there should be something on his finger if he had been landing in the sand. Hmm. And the results? Found that there was sand trapped on the victim's fingernail. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did wipe the name with his own finger. Yes, which explains that you're there's sand stuck under his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more. There's also scratches on the skin that caused by it. That caused by writing on the ground. Boy. Would you get scratched by sand? Yeah, have you ever like... Not like sand at the beach. Oh. Not like thick sand. If you've ever tried to like mess like with that, dirt or something. I guess I don't know. Not dirt, some, but like scratch on the skin. Rocky sand, maybe. Like bigger sand pieces, not like the stuff at the beach. Oh, scratches on his skin. Yep, you can't see them with your naked eye, but there they are. <laughs> that's yeah, incredible. It's incredible. Boy, that's the power of scientific investigation. <laughs> yeah, they were so small we had to use a magnifying glass, like a, like a really strong one. It's got like scientific sounding name. A microscope? You mean a microscope? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. We used one of those and that's how we found him. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. Oh my gosh. I guess we could get that the victim wrote the name with his right hand. Oh, whoops. I, didn't, the, I accidentally clicked A. There's only one conclusion. <laughs> the name was definitely written by the victim. But don't, but don't you think it's really strange, sir? Stop moving. I'm trying not to. If Justin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I would have gone through that much trouble to get him his present? The present? What about it? Okay, so go and press on that first, because he didn't do it. Just in case. Yeah. You can press B to, like, make it go faster. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the right. Okay, press. Okay. Press. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. <laughs> the power of science? Hmm, I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with... Listening to this, you would think that there was only one conclusion. The name was definitely written by the victim. But you don't think that I'm really mistaken? Oh, okay, we already saw this. Hold B. Okay. If he really wrote it... So... I, mean, I think it... Well, let's take a look at all the evidence first. Let's go to evidence. Okay. Uh, let's see. And press A. And, okay, so it's my all important badge. It shows that I'm a defense attorney. Got it. Found this in my pocket, but I don't think it. Okay, that's just a cell phone. Time of death. Six man. Broken neck. Body's also covered in bruises. Wait. Uh, well. Eh, never mind. That's probably not anything. I was thinking, like, if he fell and he broke his neck, he wouldn't. Be able yeah, to move his arm. I yeah. think you still can, though. 
I don't know about that. And you just maybe know. die at a little bit? I don't know. You could have internal bleeding. There's nothing that on there that says that he died immediately. It just yeah. said that he... Well, actually, unless you're supposed to just think breaking neck means instant death. Let's just... Uh, let's just...